This is Hannibal here from thehannibaltv.com with a big update. John Laurinaitis, of course, was named in the Janelle Grant lawsuit against the WWE and Vince McMahon. If you don't know who John Laurinaitis is, he used to be a wrestler best known for his time in All Japan Pro Wrestling and WCW. He was also an executive for WCW, and he was an executive for WWE from 2001 until 2022 when he was fired due to uh, sexual misconduct allegations, from what I understand. So he's 61 years old now. Most of the time he worked for WWE, he was head of talent relations. Uh, He is a defendant in this Janelle Grant lawsuit. He's being represented by his lawyer, Edward Brennan, who put out a statement to Vice Media about the case on Thursday. Of course, Vice Media works with the Rocks 7 Brooks production on the Dark Side of the Ring series. And The Rock is now one of the board members for TKO. So the lawyer said, quote, Mr. Laurinaitis denies the allegations in the misguided complaint and will be vigorously defending these charges in court, not the media. Like the plaintiff, Mr. Laurinaitis is a victim in this case, not a predator. The truth will come up. And there was a follow-up question where he was asked to clarify how John Laurinaitis is the victim. And he, the lawyer said, quote, read the allegations, read the federal statute, power, control, employment, supervisory capacity, dick. Dictatorial sexual demands with repercussions if not met. Count how many times in the complaint Vince Vince exerts control over both of them, end quote. Well, I mean, from what I understand, one of the things in the complaint was Vince had a threesome with her, with Miss Grant and John Laurinaitis and took a a crap on Miss Grant and supposedly made Laurinaitis have sex with her with crap all over her. Which is disgusting, which which I, I would have to, everyone has their own fetishes, I guess, but I would have a hard time believing. I mean, any, I don't understand how anyone w- would want to have sex with a woman that has another man's crap all over her. But this woman, I mean, supposedly, I mean, she before she, uh, she even met McMahon, she lived in his building the same building as a billionaire. It says she was down on her luck. Uh, I guess, I guess she was having financial issues according to her standards. But what is Johnny Ace's excuse? I guess we'll find out because he's had decades as an executive. It's not like he's hurting for money. It's not like he hasn't been involved in the wrestling business for decades and decades and decades. In, in top positions, maybe he had to deal with the whole this the whole time he was in WWE. But I, I don't know. I just I have a hard time. If somebody asked me to do that, for instance, if 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 Vince asked me to do that, there's there's no there's no amount that I'd want to keep my job to have sex with a woman with with crap all over. Her. I, just, I just there's no there's nothing. I mean, maybe if there was a gun to my head or a gun to the woman's head, I I don't know. But I to to keep a job that you when you've already been an executive for decades and probably have a ton of money saved away. I just I don't know if I buy that, but we'll see what happens in court. Hello to you guys. Oh, by the way, the dynamite. <laughs> not that anybody cares about wrestling anymore. But Dynamite drew a 0.26 rating with, uh, I think, John Moxley against Jeff Hardy was the main event. Two guys I like. 
James says, what a turd. No wonder Vince likes him. Like in my dealings with him, he did hire me for WWE. But as I've said, I had a really bad experience with him. I'll say it one more time. It was a WWE show in January 2005 in Toronto. And I had flown to Calgary to be an extra from Calgary to be an extra on the show. And I just remember he was talking to some model there that wasn't even a female wrestler. And I interrupted them and asked what I had to do to get a job. And he proceeded to yell at me for like five minutes in front of everybody for interrupted him. And I left. I grabbed my bag. I was so pissed off about it. I grabbed my bags and, and I, I just left the building, uh, which I'm sure they noticed, but they never said anything about it. But I'm, I'm sure that did help. I'm sure he, he eventually hired me a few years later, but that's that probably wasn't the wisest thing to do because I'm sure they noticed that I left. James says maybe it was all set up by Triple H. I, I, I find it hard to believe when Triple H says he fa- found out about all this at the same time that we that we all did when there's allegations in this that this was no secret. And Triple H ended up taking John Laurinaitis' job, from what I understand. So he never heard anything about any of this being Vince McMahon's son. I don't know. I just find that very hard to believe. Never say never. I don't I don't know. I just maybe John Laurinaitis will have a case against Vince McMahon for some of this stuff, but this is this is all brutal stuff. This is all brutal stuff that it doesn't make me in any way want to watch WWE. I mean, I was just noticing in my email that they have the pre-sale today on for the upcoming Raw taping here in Ottawa. And it's like, how do you even promote? I I know all the super fans are going to go, but with all this all over the news, You'd think that at some point it'll definitely hurt ticket sales for casual fans because whether Vince McMahon is officially part of WWE or not, he's so associated with WWE, it just kind of leaves people with a bad taste in its mouth. Someone says that Triple H could have heard about it but not seen evidence about it. I think Vince McMahon settled multiple, multiple lawsuits um, related to sexual misconduct. So with with Triple H being Vince McMahon's predecessor in a lot of ways, I just, I find it hard to believe that he, did, he didn't know about it, but who knows? Well, I don't even watch product even when Vince was there. Someone says he'll still watch the product unless Vin Reigns still wins at Mania. Well, to me, it's way too predictable if Cody Rhodes wins. I actually want Reigns to win. I I find the products today too choreographed, and I would have watched it if it was Reigns versus The Rock. I am interested to know what happens with Reigns and Rhodes because if The Rock at some point is going to come back, once all this blows over, if, depending on how long it takes, I don't see uh, Rock versus Cody Rhodes as the money match. I think if there's still a chance that The Rock will return this year, they might find a way to keep the title on Reigns. Who didn't see this coming? Well, ever since the Vince had his first quote-unquote retirement, I, don't, I think you would definitely have to have blinders on to not see something more like this coming. Roman Reigns needs to take the Seth belt and unify all belts. I think the problem is Roman Reigns is hardly wrestling these days and the whole reason why they created the other belt which I don't think anyone takes seriously as the legit world title. I think everybody knows Roman Reigns is the the real world champion. But um, It's because he doesn't do the house shows and stuff. So they needed somebody, they needed a world champion that will appear 
on all these other shows, but Seth Rollins is out right now with an injury himself. They got Seth Rollins out. Kevin Owens is injured, supposedly. Uh, some sort of foot injury, but I don't know how serious it is. CM Punk is injured, probably won't be back from what I hear until September. Brock Lesnar is out until th- things blow over. Um, Logan Paul. I mean, he's he's one of the biggest stars they got, the biggest legit. Logan Paul's the most legitimate mainstream star they have. John Cena, he just had double surgery too after his last WWE run, so it's not like they could pull him out of out of their back pocket either. Aside from Gunther and the tag belts, everyone feels like a part-time wrestler. And Gunther, well, Gunther is a good wrestler. I don't think he's quite over enough to be main event yet. But uh, not taking anything away from his wrestling. Triple H probably didn't feel comfortable expressing his two feel- true feelings. Of course he wouldn't. Of course he wouldn't. Very, very awkward situation for, for family members. Anyways, guys, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And have a great night. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates.